Um, what are your plans for, um, uh, for, uh, for the future? Well, you know, first thing first, you know, when I had my spinal cord injury last year, uh, it's a complete injury. It means that I'm not supposed to ever move my toes or do anything ever again. You're talking about 0.03% I'll ever walk again. But to me, basically just walking right now and, you know, the blessing that, that I have right now just to be able to get out. But, you know, more important right now, just worry about my legs, squatting, you know, uh, walking again, leg pressing again. And then, you know what, we never know. The sky's the limit. You never know what opens up. Dr. Sharma came in and he said, you know, uh, Chris, there's a chance you'll never be able to walk again. And um, when he told me that, I had to really just um, start to think. I had to really use my brain and say, you know what, do I really believe what he says? We're walking. That's awesome, Chris. You're walking, buddy. Holy smokes, man. Look at those steps. Jeez. You know, it's awesome to see Chris Dem starting to walk. Uh, this is about 15 days into our workouts. Um, sitting here watching the screen, um, he's come a long ways in a very short period of time. When he first got here, he had virtually no movement. Um, we had to start with finding movement and going from there, and I'll never forget when I first assessed him and I said, Chris, I really don't feel any movement, but, but it's in there and, and we'll, we'll check it out tomorrow. Um, the look on his face, when tomorrow he was pedaling a bike, when we set him up and, and he found uh, that he could pedal a bike. So now sitting here watching him uh, start to walk, and it, it's in the early stages. He's got a lot of work to do and he's got a lot of strength to gain and he's got a lot of things to get done. But uh, considering the severity of his injury, uh, it's really, really remarkable what he's able to achieve at this point. Um, this is what we do at Progressive Strength Recovery, is we start with people who have no movement, we find the movement, we create the movement, and then we start from there. Just worry about my legs, squatting, you know, uh, walking again, leg pressing again. Sitting here watching Chris do this in the video, um, without braces, uh, when he was walking for us in our place for the first time, he was walking without braces, and that's the first time he had done that. And that's really monumental. We were, we were helping him advance a little bit. We were there in case his quads weren't up to the, the task. Uh, nonetheless, more than not, it was him doing the work and we were just there. We're watching him. Now I'm watching him uh, squat here for the first time. I'm watching glute. I'm watching quads. I'm watching some calves. Um, and in this video we're seeing right now, if you look at his arms, there's very little movement in his arms. He, he's supporting himself a little bit, but he's pushing. He's moving this. He's doing it. So he's done quite a deal here, and, and uh, it all started with us finding movement at PSR. This video, I think, is pretty interesting also. It's Chris for the first time without braces, starting to stand, starting to use his, his glutes, quads. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. Now, as you can see, he's helping himself a little bit with his arms, but if you look at the angle of his elbows, he's helping very, very little. This is all him. I'm just supporting his knees. Just worry about my legs, squatting, you know, uh, uh, walking again, leg pressing again. And leg pressing for the first time. We've, we've obviously, we've got his knees wrapped. Um, probably didn't need to do that, but, but we felt a little safer. Um, it's a very small, light stack he's pushing. Got to understand, this is the first time after a complete spinal cord injury that he leg pressed. Now, you see his hands on his knees that are on the sides of his knees. They're lateral. He's, all he's doing is keeping his knees um, in the correct position. We don't want his legs to, to fall out. And then you know what? We never know. The sky's the limit. You never know what opens up. That's very here he is pedaling the bike. This, as I recall, this was the first day he was here. Um, the very first thing we did once we found movement in his glutes uh, was to get him pedaling a bike. And that was quite eye-opening for him, I think. I don't think to begin with he believed he was going to be able to do that. And sure enough, those, these were the very first exercises we did, again, once we found movement. So Chris is putting a Herculean effort into all of this. He's working hard as could be. Um, he's a champion. It's amazing. He really is standing. He really is pushing. He really is doing these things. Um, really remarkable. The, the effort he's putting in is, is monumental. So the only, he's only going to get out as much as he puts in, and he's going to have to work really, really hard. But it's awesome. He's standing. He's squatting.